experience your editor has had more than once is the frustration of waiting while his flight has been delayed, sometimes for many, many hours. But here we have a story from an elderly contemplative sister who calls herself a hidden pearl and who has written for us before, telling how on three occasions in her life her flight has been delayed. But in this case, the flight was into the next life. And happily, a hidden pearl is still very much with us. We missionaries share the mission of Jesus. As his disciples, our mission is to love God, is to serve one another, and to serve God is to love one another. We are on a journey striving to live as Jesus lived so that our lives may be fruitful for others when we die. Life is short. Eternity is long. We have only this brief lifetime to receive love, deepen love, grow in love, and give love. What a wonderful way for us missionaries to witness to the God of love as His beloved children, like His only beloved Son, Jesus, on whom His favor rests. Our revered co-foundress, Mother Mary Michael, left us a simple maxim on how to live in the following guiding principles of her life. Live quietly with God. Work gladly for God. View things from God's viewpoint. Talk things over with God. Glow with zeal for the glory of God. Find your joy in God. Rest deep in the heart of God. This is really a simple but effective practice to be connected with God which enables us to labor quietly in His loving presence in our life of worship, witness, work. As we live, so we die. I have become familiarized with death due to the death rehearsals in my own life, three of which I now share with you. In August 1983, New Year's Eve 1995, and August 2007. However, I survived and could remark in good faith and humor its time flight delayed back to father's business as usual. I remember the first death rehearsal when I underwent an emergency operation due to intestinal obstruction and I stayed several days in the ICU. An elderly sister mistakenly called it the expensive care unit. I could hear the muffled murmur, the hasty steps when I developed an erratic BP, necessitating a quick cut-down surgery on my right arm. I was gazing intently and praying to the crucified Lord, My heart is ready, Lord. My heart is ready. Into your hands, I commend my spirit. Jesus, Mary, Joseph, help me. Suddenly, a bright light engulfed the crucified, and I saw his right hand extended toward me and heard his gentle, loving voice. Not yet. I sank into a coma for several days. Many prayers were offered for this hidden pearl, and even three bishops visited and blessed her. They are all now resting in the bosom of the triune God, but as for me, I'm still waiting in hope because of my delayed flight. My mission is still going on, 
and I continue to be more and to do less. Meaning to be more loving, more compassionate, more forgiving, more patient, and gentle. Because our being human is not in the things we can accomplish with our mind, but what is in our heart. To love and share love. It was New Year's Eve and I had a splitting headache, so I took a painkiller. I was surprised that the pain got worse, and I felt my tongue hardening and my speech becoming slurred. I went to the chapel thinking I could ask help from one of the sisters at Adoration. I made signs to her to call our infirmarian, but because of my slurred speech, she dashed out leaving me there at the door of the sanctuary. For my part, I thought my hour had come, and I joyfully prayed the Magnificat with our Blessed Mother in front of our Eucharistic Lord. Soon, the infirmarian came, brought me back to my room, and gave me a sedative, and I fell asleep. New Year's Day found the community rejoicing. But when I reported to our cardiologist, he said with some alarm, Sister, you had a mild stroke. What a surprise and revelation. Another instance of my flight delayed. 